since I came and just did a, an update vlog. I've been doing the celebrity sketches series, which I love working on. <laughs> but I had a theme come in today, and I thought I would share with you three ways that that's been illustrated in my life lately. So the word is courage. And I was just thinking about breaking that word down. You know, I've talked about courageous compassion, having compassion for myself, for others, in my work. Um, and then, so courage being of the heart, cœur, is from the French. Thinking of the age of following my heart, the age of courageously, compassionately following my heart. And three ways that that's been coming up in my life. Uh, many of you know who've been following me on Facebook and Twitter that I recently returned from shooting a beautiful short film on location in Iowa, in Burlington, um, which is this gorgeous little town on the Mississippi River. So, Mississippi River. I, it's so fun to say that word. <laughs> and it was so great. I was offered the lead female role by the filmmaker Phil Mayall, who's based in San Francisco, because he'd been following my work online. So, pretty cool that that helped me get this awesome job. And I really resonated with the themes. And so when I was talking with him over Skype, um, and I asked him, what, why is this important to you? Because that's, that's important to me too. And we really resonated in the same way. And it, it was an awesome collaboration. And just the whole cast and crew were so stellar. So you can see some updates about that on Facebook if you're interested. And then while I was there, this is following my heart number two, uh, my day off was uh, September 21st, the Sunday, and many of you may have participated in the global movement of uh, the People's Climate March that day. 162 countries and all 50 states were demonstrating that day. So cool to be a part of that. And I really wanted to be at the demonstration but the only one in Iowa was three hours away in Des Moines. So I was talking to people and I finally recruited awesome crew member Scott who really wanted to go and uh, we did this epic little road trip to the Capitol, <laughs> like through the corn, it was awesome. And, um, and met with the people there and were part of that demonstration. So representing Iowa for our planet and this was to demonstrate for major global climate change reform in our governments, so vibes to that. And on that same vein, um, some of you may have seen back on Earth Day, I, I posted my three things that I was doing for the Earth, and one of them was to get a bike on my birthday, September 1st. So this is following my heart, thing number three. What I didn't say was that that was actually a major irrational, very deep fear for me. I had learned to ride a bike when I was a kid, and I think maybe like following my older brother down some massive hills and just totally biffing it, or at some, some point, maybe I blocked something off, um, I became very fearful of riding my bike. And I'm a courageous person. I could climb the tallest building, no problem. I do lots of things to challenge myself most every day, you know, but this would just make me cry. <laughs> so I thought, well, okay, it's never too late. And I went into that bike shop and I said, hi, I'm 32. Want to teach me how to ride a bike? <laughs> and he was awesome. And we went out to their little tiny parking lot, like on a hill. And I um, was like, okay, I can totally do this. And yes, I got a little bit bruised up from learning those um, handbrakes, I'd never used handbrakes before. They work very well. So, learning, learning. It's like, okay, all right, I get it. That's good. Next time I'll do better. <laughs> and I've just been slowly working my way through, um, which is awesome. It's, it feels really good <laughs> to ride a bike. And even better to do something for myself, show up for myself, and face something that's been holding me back. So, on that note, Vibes to you and all you do, it's never too late. We are connected.